What is going on guys, today I'm back with another episode of my Milwaukee Bucks My Gym Mode here on NBA 2K15 And this will be the last episode before the regular season um, Yeah, before the regular season ends and we'll be heading into the playoffs uh, We're going to be starting off with a simcast game against the Grizzlies Going up against, of course, Michael Carter-Williams um, Who we traded two episodes ago And we got um, Michael Conley Um so it looks like we got off to a big start in the first quarter against the Grizzlies. I'm going to hop in with about three minutes left and then we'll finish simulating in this game. But we are killing them right now. Or not, they're coming back a little bit. And yeah, so I'll hop in with about three minutes left and I'll see you guys when I'm in the game. Alright guys, so I'm in the game and I actually want to do some substitutions. I just see Booker out there and I kind of want to get Michael Conley in just because he's going up against his old team. Uh, Hammonds can stay in. Thompson, I'm gonna take out for Diallo just because he's getting tired. Winslow, I'll keep in, and Middleton, I'll keep in. Uh, yeah, I want to do that. So we only have one timeout, but let's see here. Is MCW on? No, he is not on the floor. That is weird. Here's Middleton. Oh, on Zebo. Oh, nice play by Middleton. Oh, and I think he got blocked, but yeah, they still have Jeff Green, Marcus Saul, uh. And Zach Randolph and oh my god. I see that he has 28 points and I man. I love Chris Middleton I saw that they had an injury going into the simcast and I don't I don't think it was Michael Carter Williams But it could be actually We'll see if they maybe sub him on Hopefully they do. I want to see Michael Carter Williams playing a Grizzly series. Yeah, all right So uh, are they gonna sub him on? Oh, they're subbing out their point guard and there he is Michael Carter Williams We're gonna see him in a Grizzly jersey Oh, man, this is going to be weird. So, give it to Conley. Oh, there's Michael. Oh, man. He he was good for us. I know you guys, for some reason, didn't like him. I, I personally liked him. Like, he was degressing, like, or his, like, point total was going down. But his assist total kept going up, which was good to see from a point guard. But you know what? You guys want to see him traded, so I traded him. I'm not going to regret it because Conley's been playing great for us. And, man, Middleton just knocked down that three. He's got 31 points. But, yeah, Michael Carter Williams, you know, we gotta respect what he did for this Milwaukee Bucks, my GMO. He's a pretty good player for us. And, uh, there's, I think, the Car Johnson to Michael Carter Williams kicking it to Zebo. Uh, he misses, but he's gonna get his own rebound and he's gonna put it back in. So we have a 13 point lead right now. Uh, ooh. So here's Middleton running it up. Ooh, I was gonna throw an alley oop, but he just has an easy lane for that lamp, and I think he has 33 points right now, which is absolutely crazy. Yep, 33 points, 10 for 15 from the field. Uh, beautiful job. Or, yeah, a great game by Middleton, and the last game we're gonna play before the regular season. Oh, nice defense by Diallo. Oh, but they get it, and he's actually gonna get fouled. Diallo's gonna foul Dakari Johnson, and he's gonna go to the line for two. He's going to miss, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. He makes the first one. I'm just talking too fast. I stumble over my words and he misses the second one. So let's go here. Michael Conley. I see you, Middleton. I see you, Middleton. Oh, there we go. Conley to Middleton. And that is what I am talking about. Man. Uh, let's see what Conley's been doing this game. He has uh, 14 assists and 6 points. Okay. Middleton's got 35. Diallo's got 10. Hammonds has 8. And Winslow has... Okay, I accidentally, I meant to press RB and X to go to Winslow, but I, uh, Diallo stole the ball, and I pressed X too many times. Winslow has 6 points and 6 boards, alright. So, Conley's getting it done in the passing game. Ooh, there's a Michael Carter-Williams turnover. Kick it to Winslow. Oh, run Diallo. Oh, that's a beautiful, oh, come on! Uh, I guess Winslow doesn't have the best passing, but he had an easy oop to Chuck Diallo. And it's going to be a still a 16 point lead for us. Uh, not complaining at all. And oh, a sweet behind the back pass for Michael Carter Williams. And Marcus Saul is going to put it in the rim. And let's go. Uh, Ron Hammonds. Kick it to Hammonds. Over. Okay, he looked to posterize his former teammate. But there is Michael Carter Williams, the MCW's fourth foul. Hammonds knocks down his first. 69 overall rating for a center. For free throws, it's not bad. It's pretty decent, and he misses the second, but what can you expect from a center? So we just scored 100. We're on a 15-point lead. I wonder if they still have Tony Allen. Is that Tony Allen? I think that's Tony Allen playing point guard or shooting guard. So Winslow with a nice board, and let's run. Oh, Winslow is fast. Oh, should have kicked it to the Pass it to the Allen. He's wide open. Okay, that was... Oh, that was horrendous. Come on, guys. 
Oh, I checked it out. It was wide open in the paint. And they're subbing off Zebo. A former Nick that they traded for Channing Fry. Uh, terrible trade. But here's Jeff Green for three. Ooh, is he going to jump? Here's MCW. Here's Jeff Green. Oh, here's um uh, three. Misses it. And now we're going 19 seconds left. Will we score Michael Conley? You know what? I want to throw it to Diallo. Oh, what the heck? Where did Middleton come from? Oh, my God. I meant to throw that to Diallo. And Middleton just comes out of nowhere and gets his 35th point of the game. And, man, a nice game for Middleton. Oh, and uh, Conley almost picked uh, MCW's pocket. But we'll see what he does after the game MCW and his, uh, and his uh, game returning against his former team oh here's adams off for a one two he knocks that down look at i think devin booker's in the game now yeah and this is dario so two seconds oh jeremy grant will he knock that down no nah, he misses all right so we win 102 to 87 uh we'll simulate the end of the regular season after this i just want to see how 37 my bad even have 35 37 11 for 11, 11 for 11 from the line beautiful Michael Carter Williams, 21 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists. Wow. Uh, what is he? Has he been doing good? Uh, can I look at his recent games? Yeah, I can. So he's been doing pretty, pretty well for the um, Grizzlies. Hopefully they don't um, make us regret trading him. Yeah, look at this. 12. Look at these double-digit assist games. 33, 7, and 13. All right. <laughs> okay, Michael Carter Williams. But you guys wanted to see him traded. Uh, and I still think... Uh, the trade we did will help out our team. I even look at Thompson and Conley's stats for this year. Uh, actually, we'll look at the end of the stats for the end of the uh, regular season. We're going to simulate through uh, the end of the regular season. We'll look at the awards and then see who we're taking on in the first round against the playoff uh, in the playoffs. And hopefully we don't have too many cutscenes here. Uh, yeah, I'll say it last. So everything goes up. Press stress does and of course. But all right. So we beat the Bulls. Uh, Jeremy Grant, I'll say very hard. So the press trust can go up. Uh, man, this could take a decent amount of time. Uh, two big wins in a row. I'll just say very proud of our team. Get everybody's morale up. I don't really care about press trust here at the end of the season. And we're finishing up March. I know we're not going to be playing Diallo over 20 minutes a game. We just have too much depth on this team. Uh, sure, I'll view the report. I don't really care. Uh, I'll just say Scout always handle. And his trust goes up a lot. So here's uh, April started. There we go. We finished first in our division. That guarantees us a top four seed in the playoffs. Uh, and we read our goal. We actually have a chance of winning 60 games again. We're 58 and 21. 58 and 22. Uh, no, we go 59 and 23. We weren't able to win 60 games, but still a successful successful season. Uh, needless to say, but um, no, no. All right, so. Russell Westbrook, 23 points, 8 boards, and 10 assists. I think this is actually his second MVP, uh, his second time winning MVP in this series. Troy Williams from Duke wins Rookie of the Year. Okay. Marcus Smart, another Celtic, wins Sixth Man of the Year. Anthony Davis, the Brown, takes home defensive player. Wow. Almost 30 points and 11 boards. That's crazy. Oh, there we go. Devin Booker. That's surprising. He wins Most Improved Player. 8.5 points, 3 boards, 2 assists. Shooting 57% from the field. That's not that's pretty good for a shooting guard. James Wallace wins coach of the year, so it wasn't our coach. And we take home executive of the year. I don't know if that's our second or our first. Here's all NBA first team. I see Carl Towns. Wow. That's crazy. 19 and 9 in his third year now. Uh I'm just looking for any bucks here. No bucks in the all NBA first three. Here's all defense. Any bucks? Nope. All right, so we see Tower Yulis here, four points, three assists, and actually Diallo even make it. Okay, so our our owner Clark Waller wants us to win a title, and I'm gonna say we will accomplish that. And you had a very successful season. You have home court advantage in round one, which is good. What are your expectations for your team in the playoffs? I'm gonna say win it all. I think we we're built to win it all, and yeah, everything went up after that. So we're taking on the Nets. And I'm good. I'm glad to see we're on the other side of the Pacers. So we're gonna look at our end of the year stats, and then we'll look at the Nets roster, and then that'll be it. So end of the year, Michael Carter Williams, 19 points. He stepped it up. He's a 96 overall. Uh, three boards, four assists, 
not bad, not bad at all. Jabari, 13 points, 6.5 boards. Uh, Michael Conley, 13 points, 2.6 rebounds, 8.5 assists, 2.4 steals, which is good. Henson, his rebounds, actually 8.4, is that up? Yeah, that's up. So he had a very good year coming off his contract season. Uh, his points went down from his um, first year in this my GM mode, but he still did pretty good with his rebounds is what I want to see. And his blocks um, were down from last year, but his field goal percentage went up. Uh, Winslow also had 10 points. 10 points, 4.9 uh, rebounds and 1.1 assists and 0.7 blocks, which is not bad at all. Booker, Hammonds, there's Tristan Thompson, not averaging the most points, but averaging a lot of rebounds. And he actually uh, played pretty good for us in his recent games. A lot of rebounds. He doesn't shoot a lot, but I, I just really glad he gets a lot of rebounds. So now I just want to look at the Nets roster, and then we'll get into. Well, that'll be it for the video. So we're gonna go to the Nets, see who they have. So they have Brooke Lopez, Terrence Jones, who I almost traded for. But instead, I went with Tristan Thompson. Uh, yeah, how is Terrence Jones doing? So maybe I could have... Eh, should I have traded for him? No, I think I'm glad that I went with... Uh, he's not having a good year after coming to Brooklyn uh, from Houston. Dewan Wright, so a lot of young people. Kyle O'Quinn, Thaddeus Young, Bohan Bogdanovich, Robert Upshaw, who I was actually might have drafted over AJ Hammonds. But I went with Hammonds. Austin Rivers, John Jenkins. He went to Vanderbilt, right? Yeah, he went to Vanderbilt. Joe Johnson, Darren Williams. All right. Kostas Papudopoulos. So I think we can win this thing. Round one will be in the next episode, and I'll see you guys there.